Hey, y'all, it's Tammy. I just thought I'd talk a minute before we go into Bible study just because, just because. Y'all, re I really am exhausted. Um, I'm still exhausted. Um, the cake, the cake was good. I enjoyed it. It kind of reminded me. It was so good when it was batter because it tasted more like apple butter. But then after it cooked, it kind of reminded me, no kidding, it tasted more like gingerbread than apple butter to me. Um, I liked it. I liked the dates and the raisins in it. Matter of fact, I have not had breakfast, so I'll probably have that for breakfast. I should have come on eating that this morning because it is a lower fat cake and the density of it is a little different. If y'all want me to, I'll go get a piece. And we'll have a piece of cake before we start talking. <laughs> I need a piece of cake. I've been so good for two days. And it's not even fattening. So let's go get a piece. Y'all want to? Y'all can see my dirty kitchen. Y'all, in the mornings, before this Bible study, normally I would get up, I would start a load of clothes, I would make my bed, I would get dressed, I would put on my makeup. I've got on my pajamas. And... Since we've come back from vacation, I have been so tired that the last two mornings I slept till 8 o'clock. This morning I did get up at 7.20, but I haven't done any chores. I haven't washed any clothes. I haven't cleaned up the kitchen. I haven't done squat besides put on my makeup, read the Bible, and put on my pajamas. That's all I've done. But I always like to, used to, I would get up earlier, read my Bible, study, then start all my chores. Anyway, I just love to talk. Let's go in the kitchen. <sighs> if y'all knew how tired I was. Why am I so tired? I don't know. Hey, y'all, I worked all day yesterday so I could sit down. Y'all should see my kitchen. Y'all want to see what a mess it is? I want y'all to see what a mess it is. <laughs> y'all are going to be like, oh, my God. Y'all wonder what I have to do to prepare for this show. All right, here's my stove. Amy made an egg this morning, okay? These are all clean. They're just sitting here because when we clean these, we have to put these on the stove and get them dried out. But all this is clean from yesterday that's just sitting on the stove. And my bottom cabinet is such a mess, y'all. I have got to get down there because it's just, everything's hanging out. Look at it. Everything's just hanging out. The, the, Things are hanging out. I can't even close the cabinet. And that's why some of them are up on top of the stove. Because I'm exhausted and I'm like, I don't want to get down on the floor and do that today. That's what the way I was yesterday, y'all. I just didn't want to do it. Alright, now you ready to see what else looks like a mess? I don't care. You know how I real I am. I don't have to put on a show all the time. Look, there's my sink. And we loaded the dishwasher twice. I unloaded the dishwasher before we ate. We loaded it again. And now look at my sink. That's how my sink looks. What a mess. And then this over here is all my plants because we put them outside. And then we have to bring them in because it gets cold at night. And so my bar is full of, look, I got all my PJs. My bar is full of my uh, plants. And y'all, uh, what's weird about these plants is these, and Chris doesn't even remember what they are, stinker. These are dry as a bone. But what's so weird about them, y'all? Look, the roots are coming out of the bottom. See them? All right. But look how sad they look after I put them outside yesterday. Don't they look kind of sad to you? They look yellow like they were getting too much water. But now these are dry, but the cup, when you touch it, it's kind of damp. I'm not giving them any water today. I told Chris, I said, bring me up some miracle Grow and let me zap these plants with some miracle Grow. He ain't done it. And I, I left these outside, y'all, when we were on vacation. My morning glories, we planted them in here. And look, the ones in the middle died. But the ones around the edge lived. And I don't know if it's because it got cold outside or what. 
Anyway, this is how my kitchen looks. What a mess. All right, look. I did pick some beautiful tulips. I have the prettiest tulips, y'all, in my yard. Look how nice and tall they are. These things for real. Look how tall they are. I have got tulips. We bought these at Sam's years ago. And um, every year when they bloom, the purple blooms first. And that's all you see. And they're little. They're shorter, the purple ones, because they bloom early. And um, all the purple blooms. And then they, by the time they die, and it's like a week and a half, then the white ones start coming out. Then the red ones and then the pink. And so these colors come out at the same time enough that they look blended around that tree. But aren't they pretty? I need to change my cover um, on um, my personal site. You know it's public too. On my personal site, I used to have a picture of all my tulips in the background around that tree. And I think I, it's, time, it's the time of year for me to put that back right now. It's mama. But anyway... I just love tulips. I think they're so pretty. And they and they do last longer than you think. These have been bloomed out since way before we went on vacation. And they're still beautiful out there. Alright, let's get a piece of cake. There's my cake. This is that cake we made yesterday. And, uh, you know, it didn't hardly have any oil in it at all. It just had the third cup of, I can't believe it's not butter, margarine in it. This is her eggs from this morning. I'll throw them away. Uh, so, I actually had two pieces last night, and Chris had a piece. I guess I could eat this piece. But I want to show y'all the texture of it. I'll cut it and show y'all just to kind of let you see. Now, I know I could glaze it and I could do all kind of stuff, but we're trying to be better, right? So, um, that's how the texture looks. It's nice and it's soft. It's moist. So, I don't know if y'all like the flavor of like a gingerbread or apple butter, but this is an apple butter cake. Um, but this is a good one to have if you like it. Now, if you don't like it, don't waste your time on it. Because if it's strong, it does have a strong flavor, okay? And I actually put a Cool Whip is 1.5 uh, total fat, only one of saturated, um, has a 3 grams of carbs, it's very low in sugar and sodium and protein and cholesterol, no, zero, zero, zero. So what I do, instead of icing the cake, I just put a little Cool Whip on it, okay? And that way, it's not so boring. And it also lightens up that ginger flavor um, a little. Now, let's make some coffee. I've got to refreshen up my coffee if I'm going to have a piece of cake. Let me go get my cup. And I showed y'all these cups the other day. I've showed y'all these cups before. These are Sam's insulated tumblers. Look at my lipstick on it. And, um, anyway, I went to Sam's yesterday. This is why I'm so, not yesterday, Monday. I went to Sam's on Monday, and I bought, uh, these come in a package of two for about $20. So they're about $10 a piece and they're worth every penny. Now they sell, why am I yelling? Gosh, y'all should say quit yelling. Um, I got this little microphone on here. I don't have to yell. Anyway, they sell, um, they sell the tall ones too that are like the Yetis. I think we've got one Yeti glass that I actually spent money on. I wish I wouldn't have because I don't even know where it is. I gave it to May yesterday. It's still in a room. I put tea in it. Um, anyway, you know the bigger ones. The Yetis looking things. That's 
all this is is a Yeti make, and it works wonderful. It works every bit as good as my Yeti. They have them in the large tumblers, and they have them in the in the this size tumbler at Sam's Club. Y'all see these glasses, they glare every time I do something. I didn't pay for the extra money, the extra money for the non-glare glasses, and I wish I had now since I do video. Anyway, um, go get you two of these tumblers for the summertime because you can put some ice in them and some sweet tea, and it stays cold all day long. And you don't have to get the real big one unless that's what you like. I like this size because I like to put my coffee in it. But anyway, we had three of these. And um, Chris and Amy kept fighting over them. Where's the silver cup? What did you do with it? Why don't I have one? Blah, 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 blah. So I bought two more yesterday. Okay. I'm just having a piece of uh, cake. Then we're going to talk a little bit. You know what's on my menu today? And I hope the, the Lord it's good, tastes decent. I'm just going to start doing it how I think it ought to be done. Instead of going by these recipes, and it probably tastes better. I think I will. That's what I was thinking last night when I ate that vegetable thing. I thought, you know what? If I had just come up with... And my, my refrigerator is so packed since I don't have another one. It's driving me crazy. Um, I thought if I don't have um, if if I didn't go by a recipe and I just cooked like I normally would, it would taste so much better. And then I could just write it down for y'all. That that I really think that's what I'm gonna start doing. The heck with these recipe books. Now one of my friends did send me one yesterday. And I will look through it and get some ideas, but I don't know that I'll use the recipes. Because, I, because how am I going to make a recipe book if I'm copying somebody else's recipe anyway? Delish. Okay, y'all. We can go back to the living room now. i got to come back in here and get my coffee, though. Everything's a mess. Y'all know what it's like. Between my dogs getting the floors dirty. And me and the kids and Chris making a mess in here. Oh, I gotta tell y'all about Chris. I'll do that while I'm eating my cake. Y'all see our fish up there on the wall? Aren't they pretty? Um, the one on the top, Chris caught. Um let me go look. I think it's got a label on his. His is all fancy. The one on the top says Lake Hartwell, May the 30th, 1992. All right, that's Chris's fish. The one on the bottom is my fish. I caught her on Mother's Day when I was pregnant with May. So that would have been in 2000, in the year 2000, Mother's Day. It was a Sunday. We'd already been to church. We decided we were going to go fishing in a lake. That Daddy, uh, Daddy had some property in downtown Lindale, Georgia. I don't even know if he has it anymore, but it had an old lake on it. It was in the, in the town. And we went over there and went fishing. And I hooked that thing. And my belly was poking out, y'all, and I was pregnant. No more than it pokes out now. I look just like I'm eight months. But anyway, um, I remember reeling in that fish, and I took the pole, and I stuck it on my belly. And I was reeling, and I said, Chris, help me, help me. And he goes, no, honey, that's your fish. So that's my fish. I did reel it in. Thank you.